This is a birthday video tutorial especially for you, I've never done this before and this is kind of like the look that was on the photos of my social media that you asked at the tutorial ka? so I thought it would be nice to do this for you so check it out Happy birthday Moi! Okay, today I'm going to give you a birthday makeup tutorial the primer that that you recommended. It's very good. Yeah, I, I like that it feels lightweight and then the skin on its own already looks nice. So even if there's scars or blemishes, somehow it just changed the skin tone. So it's the Can Make Marshmallow Finish Base in Oil Blocks. So I, I use fingers. Don't forget the neck because memang the neck and the body and the face line, the color, memang tidak match. I like to wet them a bit. Either you spray or you just kind of put the baby wipe gun then you blend and then you conceal lah mana mana uh, where you feel is needed blonde candid I rotate I try I like to try concealer lah to me I feel kan the product has to work now with this one you can skip all this concealing butul butul dia tutup semua but maybe some people will find it Allah hansang hen ho chang Blend I mean, isn't that better? Then you have to macam banyak banyak step, and then especially yang kita mau get ready kan. So I'm using this. Uh, I like this. I love Thai products. This is Brow It. I think you can buy. I bought this from the Guardian or Watsons in KLCC. Eye amazing shadow and liner. So this gold end here, and there's a uh, there's a, a dark brown tip. I like dark brown, so I would like just put it in my waterline. I take a, I take a brown pencil. I like it waterproof because my eyes uh, tend to water a lot. The very sensitive eyes. Uh, I usually prefer the thick waterproof eyeshadow crayons. Just wanna define because my mata is separate. Um. I make it bigger. I will use this one. I don't know how is the vibe. They much on brown skin like that. So I'll dab a little. You can use finger, scotty. Then I kind of just. Oh, this is cute. Actually, it's about buka ni. So. <laughs> oh, this is cute. Oh, I love it. Blum powder lagi my face. I I try to do the creams first. But one thing I like about these cream blushes, even when you have powder gun, you can still pat it on not an issue oh that's cute oh that's cute man okay this one I can make quite cheap I like to buy cheap things lah my goodness not cheap as in buruk punya quality but I like to go time their sales or bargain bin because uh, my weakness is pharmacy and makeup shopping I, I gotta admit you know everyone's gotta buy I'm so sorry I like to try and then people say, why do you spend so much thing? Nyam 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 nyam. Okay. Kalau saya tidak try, macam mana saya tahu juga kan? Uh, then macam mana juga mau answer kamu orang punya jawab uh, soalan kan? And my my features are not symmetrical. So memang one side is higher than the rest. It's like my ear, this one kan, dia lebih tinggi dari ini. This mata lebih tinggi dari ini. And then my jaw ini lebih besar, ini lebih kecil. And my mouth pun macam bengkok, so everything is kind of bengkok. But with makeup, we can kind of like make it look balanced and not too obvious. So, saya ada scars ini, so sometimes it tends to uh, make my this brow kan nampak lebih tinggi dari this one. So I try and put put this down lah. This one because that time saya pernah jatuh, so when they stitch kan, they 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 didn't gauge but so this one is a bit higher so actually right if this one they stitch lagi tinggi I can have an eye lift mm. <laughs> never say never um, I brush out then the pair foundation yang kena the, the eyebrow kan this more boleh keluar I like to use this Maybelline crayon they are gumuk begini so it's like a pomade uh, uh, colored brow crayon thing I just quickly draw the pressure I comb it out into the desired shape and okay you will notice kan for for tv shows or for stage makeup i love making it uh, thicker and bigger than usual simply because kan my eye space besar ba then i take this very cheap eyebrow japanese eyebrow pencil i think this is like 10 bucks kasan it's kiss me i bought it 
of during sale betul betul murah and I like it because it's hard the thing with hard pencils and I like the wind up plastic one okay lah plastic is bad but I don't like to sharpen it's wasting time and also I'm a bit allergic to the saw saw wood dust thing so I just kind of finish the pen sini the top CD kan tidak payah sudah. If you draw atas, you can lah. But I feel like when we draw the atas, dia nampak macam very harsh. Yeah. But I am doing kind of a... This is a... You can see my eyebrow is a bit more dramatic than usual. Then you brush it up, upwards again. I also spend quite a bit of time on my brows because they are... I don't really have a brow bar, you can see. And then I will clean it up. You can use a clean brush or anything. Tidak payah concealer brush. And then saya kasih lap the pair ship away. Using this uh, heroin make, I'm a big fan of Japanese uh, drugstore because their pair product kan. Okay, I'll, I will use puff because my skin is sensitive. And if you, I also like lah use brush and brush off. That one like final. If you want like very fine, very natural kind of look. But what I like is with with this kind of puff, you are patting in the powder. Then kan, the pure coverage. People will say, "Allah, macam tebal lor the coverage." But you know what? Oily skin. The thing with oily skin kan, dia makan batu powder. So when they makan, memang cepat hilang. So if we want to make up once and then tidak mau worry about balik balik, because when you balik balik touch up, then your makeup can look very cakey. Uh, that's what I, I discovered. So I just pack where I can, you know, and then kau lah. I like to much um, put concentrated. I will use like the eyeshadow brown. I kind of like a cooler brown. It looks better on, somehow looks better on, on my eye. I want to create socket ma. So I do it like this. At the edge, kan saya taruh begini. Then, saya kasih sambung to the eyebrow here. Because mine is quite far apart, I try to... Even though my hidung so mancung already, I do this kind, this kind of light shading. So that, the the features pandai, pandai keluar tu. Let me get something, a brush like this, and I want to do a bit more of a concentrated one. I will use this. This lip product is Genevieve sama Marsha Milan punya, but I don't know why they don't do it anymore. This is like a tinted lip balm. Okay, it's really good. So it follows uh, everyone's body temperature, and their punya color on everyone's lips macam slightly different, but kind of this vibe. Oh, this is Sephora. The Sephora cream, their punya lips, lip, apa ni? Uh, cream lip stains are my favorite. And I I find this color, I mean usually I don't go for this color. Well I've been really liking coral pinks. I don't know why. Like oranges. So I like to use this or any this one is powder, okay? Alamak pecha. I like to use yang begini punya, this kind one. Yang blood tebal tebal. So I usually take the the lightest one. And I outline. The way I do my contour might not be the same like most. I find this works best for me. And then I blend it downwards. Like to the neck and then at the center here. This one. I use this kind of like brown powder. And then any slightly brown lah. And then I kind of warm up the, the features. Because when we kena lampu kan, if our face kan putih betul, macam terus dia ada dimension, I feel lah. So, this is not going to lean towards a very natural look. This one, the reason why you see the photo macam nampak stunning kan, or the features all come out is because dia ada begitu lah. So, this is what, what you do, and then for video, dia punya features pandai keluar lah. So, this is more like, um, I would say, uh, media makeup, I guess. Yeah. Now I've discovered this very cheap blush as well, Sea Coat. It's very pigmented and you see it's like it's cold. It goes along a long way. So I like to put it at the apples. But a lot of people don't. So you, you see what works for you. I bring it up until the mata sini kotor kenapa. 
<laughs> that's one of the the tricks to disguise to apa eye bags too. that's one way next thing is i like to blend ni mata whatever and then i like to match up kasi enhance with the nail powder like i said we're trying to create a crease okay this is palette that i got and I don't know why for the longest time I didn't like it. But I discovered new love for it. And then I like to use this, this much like reddish brick shimmer thing. And then I put it on the bottom. I try and draw it up. Okay. And then remember the this thing? Okay, I used the bit and this one. That's done. We curl our lashes. Take your eyelash curler. To me, lashes lah. I think the lashes really... Mm, I don't have my favorite mascara at the moment. So I'm just going to use this Lash in Paradise Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. Even though we're gonna wear falsies, I feel like they're much like, To me lah, for my eye, they're much like, they are base to land. So they're they are so now. Okay, because you marry it with your real lashes. Yeah, I also like to do is mascara my bottom lashes. Mata tu menjadi besar lah, semakin besar lah. I use a darker one, and that's how I create the kunon macam fluffy eyebrow strokes. So, sekarang dia dia suka kan begini punya brow, but I tend to go a bit light See, it's a bit thick, right? But when you take picture, memang cantik. That is it. Then you can style like a pair rambut, macam mana? See, kalau change lighting. Let's see, ya. like this and I hope that we'll get to meet soon and then I can treat you to a nice lunch and a drink or something okay do take care moi and I wish you all the best this year and thank you for being my friend take care bye happy birthday